Hi, let us see the top 5 features of Time Chart project management software. At number 1, we have Interactive Gantt Chart. When you first log into our system, you will come to this project portfolio screen where you can see all the different projects that has been set up. All the basic project details are given in the project portfolio. You can see what is the calendar being set up, uh, how many days this, uh, how many working days this project is going to be. Uh, to uh, catch the details about the project and uh, this this can chart can handle uh, quite complex projects uh, where the task has got many dependencies. When I say dependencies, it means uh, the relationship of one task to the other. Uh, you can see those dependencies whenever you click any task. You can see the relationship underneath uh, relationship, which is what, what is the predecessor of this task. And if there is any successor, what is the successor of this task. You can view the Gantt chart in month, week or days or even for the whole year. On the left hand side, there is a display screen that you can see uh, the fields uh, that are being shown for display. But there are other hidden fields that you can always uh, pull out in the Gantt chart by just simply clicking the field and that will be uh, picked up in the Gantt chart. Our Gantt chart has got all the key features of project management tool uh, where you will be needing uh, to make various project uh, decisions, something like what is early start of a project, what is a free float or slack, what is a critical path or what will be the forecasting date of completions at current stage. All those informations are hidden in these fields and you can see those uh, project decision making uh, to uh, write in the Gantt chart. A task can also be set up uh, with constraints apart from relationship. Uh, if you want to know if there is any constraint be set up in the task, just simply go to the constraint tab and you can see different type of constraints. At number two, we have also given Excel import of project plan. Uh, what it means is when you are creating your project planning, uh, you can always create one task clicking this plus button and simply uh, enter your task code, task descriptions and uh, if there is any weight on this particular task uh, and what is the start date of that task. We can either do this manually one by one or we have also given the import task features uh, in our system so that enables you to directly select the file and directly import the project plan uh, into our system. At number three we have fantastic resource allocation tool. What it means uh, you can directly allocate resources for each individual task uh, right from the Gantt chart. So for example we are in the drawing tool we have already allocated these resources what is the required number of hours, what is the assigned hours we have given and let's say we want to assign one more resources into this. When we select a resource ID, it kind of gives you what is the available hours during these days for this particular consultant or the resource and we can allocate uh, required is 24 hours and how much we want to assign for this resource. And when you come to a resource planning tab, it, it shows you the resources and what uh, task we have assigned that particular resource whenever the assignment is going to be more than 100% uh, it will show up in red we can always see this in a monthly way weekly or daily basis uh, and see that it brings out the list of all resources default will be all projects and we can see uh, for each individual project uh, and also we can also filter out for each individual resource at number four we have task management when you come to the task list, uh, it shows you the overview of all the tasks and, uh, in, in the system and we can always filter a task ID or, or any task name uh, and we see how many days uh, it's left to be done and what is the percentage completion of this task. We have each project overview screen. This overview screen kind of takes you uh, what are the total number of tasks that has been assigned how many has crossed deadline, uh, how many has not yet started and if it is in progress it will show in red and we can always drill down this task and again it brings up the list of tasks that, uh, that constitute that particular project. At number 5 uh, it is physical progress. I think we have the best solutions uh, to carry out physical progress uh, in compared to any other platform. 
when you want to see the uh, Gantt chart and you wanted to see well, how much uh, the, uh, the task has been completed, uh, traditional way of doing it is obviously to drag the uh, chart and update the project completion percentage. However, we have the most sophisticated way of uh, monitoring the physical progress of any task. Uh, when we come to this physical progress screen, it shows the list of resources that has been assigned in the project. And when you zoom into this uh, features, it, you will see that you can see how many hours we have planned, say for a particular resource, we have planned 12 hours and another one 20 hours. And against that, what has been completed completion. And that is what going to show up in the taskbar. Uh, let's presume there is more completions happening here. The new progress is three hours here and another uh, four hours here and we can see it automatically updates the how much progress uh, this task has been completed. If you want to try our system and request for a free demo uh, from our website. Thank you.